Ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of information going around the internet regarding the Ninth Circuit Court and a ruling that it made. Now, we do law here, and it would be, pay attention, ill-advised for anyone to sit up here and claim that the Ninth Circuit Court ruled that the COVID vaccine is not a vaccine. They did not rule that. That is not what they ruled. What they ruled is that the district court, this is an L.A. Unified School District lawsuit where the members of the L.A. Unified School District sued because of the mandates requiring them to get vaccinated. Ninth Circuit Court specifically said the suit should be allowed to continue that there is a possibility that the plaintiffs can prove their case. So at this time, it was inappropriate, premature for the district court to rule that the matter should be dismissed, that it isn't possible at all for them to prove their case. They're saying that it is possible for them to prove their case, but it hasn't been proven yet. Okay, now if it is later proved that, but that will be sometime in a way distant future. But pay attention. Alex Jones, so many other people are reporting that they ruled something that they did not rule. They did not rule that. When you go through this article, and this article effectively is pro and the other ones are con, I'm not neither. I could care less. But what I do care about is the law. They did not rule that they were not vaccines. They did not say that under any circumstance. It was the plaintiffs who brought that argument and the court simply stated, there is a rule in court under presumption of law that they will consider the allegations by the plaintiffs as true until disproved. So they are only considering it as true for this stage of the case. This is not the fact finding part of the case. This is just the initial filing of the case. Okay, this is what the Ninth Circuit Court wrote. The plaintiff alleged that the vaccines does not effectively prevent the spread, but only mitigates the symptoms if the recipient, I mean, excuse me, for the recipient, and therefore is akin to a medical treatment and not the traditional vaccine. The appeals court wrote. That's it. They just wrote that. They didn't say that. It wasn't a ruling. This is only to determine whether or not the case is to be remanded. So, for publication, okay, this is their opinion that they published. Okay, go read it for yourself. Don't take no videos. It, I, I listened to the video and I'm wait, I'm and I thought about it. I'm listening to the video and I'm thought, wait a minute, if they really said that. Lord have mercy. So I am going to put this URL in the description and in the title so that you guys can go read this for yourself and educate yourself. Okay? Now, look, I am the guy. I don't like misinformation, disinformation. I do like law. I love law. But the stuff that people are putting out there, if you go by, if you listen to them and go by what they say, then you're going to be misled. There is no reason to be misled. There is no reason to be misled. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me get to the Eon channel so that we can... Uh-oh. What you mean we ain't got no internet? You better back yourself on up. Oh, I'm in the wrong Eon. We got to go to this Eon. Woo! Woo-wee. Right, this is the video section of the Eon, but we got to go to the tiny URL, Eon. Okay, so we can create y'all tiny URL. Create it, and we're going to paste it. Tiny URL, and we're going to enter... Uh, enter didn't work, so we're going to click on it. Hurry up now. We ain't got all day. There it is. Successfully created our tiny URL, y'all. And we're going to, well, we need to copy. Hold on. Does that copy? Copy link. We're going to copy our link. All right. Tiny URL created. So there you go. We're going to have the URL that talks about this. Now, pay attention. Health Freedom Defense Fund and the Wyoming, it's a not Wyoming non-for-profit corporation like most of mine. And then we have Jeffrey Fontes 
and Sandra Garcia and Hol Hol Vanis. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mutilate your name right there. Then we have Norma and the California Educators for Medical Freedom against these individuals. An actual case. Okay. This is in that wonderful, wonderful district court for the Southern District of California. Okay, that's that Los Angeles District Court. Okay, the appeal from the District Court, Central District of California. And this is Fletcher. I can't stand him. <laughs> I really, I can't stand this idiot. I, I promise you, I cannot stand this idiot. I know this idiot. Can't stand him. Sorry. That's what happens when you file so many cases. You get to know these fools. Uh, let's see. Before Hawkins, Nelson. I know of Nelson. And Collins. Barely know Collins. But I know this idiot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the panel vacated the district court order dismissing the plaintiff's action alleging that the COVID-19 vaccination policy of the United, uh, excuse me, the Los Angeles Unified School District, LAUSD, which until 12 days after oral arguments required employees to get a COVID-19 vaccination or lose their jobs, interfered with the fundamental right to refuse medical treatment. Ta-da, that's what the case is about. Okay. But at no time did they say what was being said and what's being reported on the social media platform. So look, the people who are talking about fake news and wanting to control fake news, look, they have a point. I'm not saying that they're 100% right. I'm saying they have a point. Because if we go by what they're saying on those other channels, people and i'm not going to be talking about this stuff this is not my this is not my arena i don't care about this stuff right here okay but i do care about the law and they said the ninth circuit court said something they didn't say now we are talking my arena i don't know nothing about medical i don't do medical i don't care about medical but i do care about the law i do care about the courts i do care about legalese i do care about what's actually being reported i listened to the alex jones soundbite and he said the Ninth Circuit Court ruled. The Ninth Circuit Court did not rule that. And so that's disturbing to me. That bothers me. I would rather deal with law, what the law actually says. Now, when the Ninth Circuit Court says something that does something that's wrong and it goes contrary to law, you better believe I'll speak up on it. I told you I don't like their ignorant judges. But the Ninth Circuit Court, I, hold on now, they get it right. Some of the time, not most of the time. No, they used to get it right most of the time, but now it's only some of the times they get it right because they're stuck on their own anuses. They, they're smelling their own shiznike. That's the Ninth Circuit Court. That's they sit around smelling their own anuses because they are so proud of themselves that they think that they can never be wrong. That's the problem with the Ninth Circuit. All right. Hey, got to go. Y'all take care.